I'm Kerry and I have created the Channel Mom Guide to the World Cup just for us mums. Up there, he's a professional footballer and has played for teams like Peterborough, Gillingham, Wimbledon, and Stevenage. And those are our two football obsessed kids, as you can probably tell by the 52,000 footballs we have lying around our house and garden. If you're watching this and you're a mum who thinks I should brush up my knowledge on the World Cup, as I have crazy kids and partner who love it so much, then carry on watching to find out more about my handy guide. So the World Cup begins on the 14th of June 2018 and it's on our screens for four weeks guys, four weeks. It is 32 countries around the world that all compete against each other to win a trophy. So this year the World Cup is taking place in Russia, it is going to be in 12 different venues and 11 different cities. FIFA actually stands for Federation International de Football Association which is French but in English it basically just means International Federation of Association Football. You have two halves of 45 minutes, so after 43 minutes, put the kettle on. On the 18th of June, they are playing Tunisia. On the 24th of June, they are playing Panama. And the 28th of June, they are playing Belgium. 32 nations take part in the World Cup, and that is determined by qualifying rounds, but the hosts automatically get a spot. Chile, USA, the Netherlands, and Italy. So in the group stages, if there's a draw, the game ends at 90 minutes regardless, but in the knockout stages, someone has to win. It'll go from the 90 minutes to extra time of two halves of 15 minutes, and if it's still a draw, it'll go to penalties. It's Brazil and Germany that remain the favorites to win the World Cup this year. You have your defenders here and your goalie here, and these two are your attackers. So if one attacker kicks the ball and his teammate is closer to the goal than the defenders, he is offside. VAR stands for Video Assisted Referee. So basically, if the ref on the pitch has a really tricky decision to make, he can actually now refer to video footage to find out if his decision is the right one. England. England! Yeah! You can't? I've tried. It's a mud pit out there in the winter. This is an easy one, actually. You just put them in shorts. Mine literally never wear trousers, even in the winter. <laughs> Two tellies, no argument. I hope my little World Cup guide was helpful for some of you guys, but don't forget to head over to the Channel Mom Support Group to chat to loads of other mums about life, football, and anything else you want to. I'll pop the link below. See you soon, bye.